In Windchill PDM Link, you can perform change management. In a previous video, we showed how to create a change notice which contains change tasks. And those change tasks are assigned to different people. So the next step is that they are going to perform the change tasks. Then the reviewer is going to take a look at the work that was performed and then approve the work. And then when all the different change tasks are completed, a person who's assigned to the change admin three role will audit the entire change notice and determine if it has been completed or not. And if they determine it has been completed, that will close the loop. In this video, we're going to take a look at that process of closing the loop, specifically steps two, three, four, and five. Now I am in a standalone web browser where I am taking a look at Windchill. I am on my home page and I can see that I have two tasks that are assigned to me. I have to update a drawing and update an assembly. Well, if I want to see what's in the change task, I can click on the hyperlink. And this is where I would see if the change admin two had written other specific instructions to me about completing the task. I can also see that we have some different affected and resulting objects inside of here. Let's go back to the home page. And let's pretend that I've actually done the work. I've updated the assembly, so now I can complete the change notice task. I'll click on the link, and then we can see the different instructions. Hey, you were assigned a task. Review the object displayed, complete the work, enter comments in the comments field, and complete the task. And so, for example, in the comments field, I could say that, you know, updated assembly per instructions, any other information that I would want the reviewer to be aware of. And then I would click on the complete task button. And now on my home page, here's another task that I was given to update a drawing. Similarly, I can click on that link and then perform that work. Let's just pretend that I updated the drawing. I go to the task. And then here, again, I could write in some comments in the comments field or just hit the complete task button. And now it's completed. In my particular Windchill instance, I am the only user. I'm the only person in here. And so I made myself the assignee of the change tasks as well as the reviewer. And so once again, you can click on the change task link to see the information in here. You also have a process tab where you can see the steps that it's going through. We can see that the person who has assigned the work has completed the change task, the work that needs to be done. Hey, that change notice task needs to be reviewed. And again, details tab. Let's go back to the home page. And you can see that now the other review change notice task has processed through the system and been assigned to me. So we click on the review change notice task. Again, we have some instructions in here. Review the object displayed. Review the resulting objects table. If rework is needed, enter instructions in the special instructions field. Enter comments in the comments text field below. Click complete or rework and click complete task to advance the change activity. So here is that special instructions field. Sometimes you need to go back and say, hey, you know what? You did this work wrong. You need to make these other additional changes in order for it to be approved. So again, you can write the different instructions inside of there. Let me scroll down. And then we have an additional field for comments that a person can write. But let's say that as a reviewer, I am satisfied with the work that was performed. I can leave the radio button set to complete. Here's the radio button if I wanted to change the routing to rework, but I'm happy with it. Let's complete the task. And here's the other change task review task for reviewing the updating of the drawing. Once again, I can click on the link and you can either choose reroute or complete. I'm going to choose complete and then hit the complete task button. And so now I have no more tasks in here. I am just going to wait for a few seconds. Let's hit the refresh button on my web browser. And so now I am wearing the hat of a change admin three. So the change tasks have been completed. 
they've been reviewed and approved. Now I have a task to audit the change notice. So again, you can click on the hyperlink for the change notice if you want. I'm going to go right to the audit change notice task. And now we have the instructions here. Review the change notice displayed. Enter comments in the comments field. Click complete or rework and click complete task to advance the change notice. So if I scroll down inside here, we can see that there are a number of different people who were assigned this task to audit the change notice. If I go to the actions drop down list, if I choose the accept button, that means I will be the only person who has this assignment. If for some reason I feel that someone else should perform the work, I can reassign it. And you also have the option to edit the deadline, something they added a few versions ago in Winchell is the task assistant, where you can see essentially a dialog box with the different tasks in here. Let's say I want to take this task out of everyone else's task list. Well, I just assigned it to myself. And now if I scroll down inside here, here we have the audit change notice process status with just me listed in there, task history. And again, at this point, I would review the work that was performed. I would review everyone's comments. And if I decide that everything is satisfactory in order to close out this change notice, I'll use the complete button. But of course, I could send it back for additional rework. But let's click on the complete task notice. And by the way, if it goes back to rework, then it's up to the change admin too to perform some additional steps with the change notice. But again, I'm saying, hey, it's happy. We did everything that was necessary under this particular change notice. Let's click complete task. And that is good. So that way, everything has been performed. If I had email notifications set up, then as a change admin three and a change admin two, also as a change notice creator, all those different people would receive emails being informed that the change notice was completed. If there are any other associated change objects, like any change requests or problem reports that went along with it, those would be closed out as well and marked as complete. Let's go click on the browse button and I am going to go to the changes monitor. Here we have change notices and here's the drop down list right now it's created by me i'm going to go to closed in the last 90 days and so here is that particular change notice and i can go to the information we can go to the process history and here you can see all the different steps where we had the change tasks then we had the review tasks and then we had the audit task and we can see that everything was closed out in our process. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.